So you're thinking about buying a ski home and you're not sure which place is the best ski town for you to buy into. Well, in today's video, I am talking about the pros and the cons of Tahoe versus Park City. The first pro of Lake Tahoe is obviously Lake Tahoe. Park City doesn't really have a lake. Jordanelle is sort of our lake, it's sort of on the outskirts of Park City just a little bit. Lake Tahoe's beautiful blue lake is just absolutely one of the coolest things about Lake Tahoe, which gives you year round beauty. And when you're up there on the resort, I remember I've been to Tahoe a few times and I was at Heavenly and you go up to the chairlift and you just see like a beautiful blue lake below you. It's gorgeous. The views are breathtaking. Tahoe also has, similar to Park City, you have a lot of year round activities and you get to utilize that lake for boating. People cruise on their boats from their houses to restaurants. You also have a casino in Tahoe. And when you're on the Nevada side of Tahoe, you also have that lively casino scene. Whereas Park City, we don't have casinos. So it has a lot of nightlife and a lot of entertainment. You also have kind of like the dual state experience, right? Part of it's in California, part of it's in Nevada, right? So you get to experience two different states, two different cultures, two different attractions. And you have a lot of natural diversity in Lake Tahoe. You get the mountains, you get the forests, you get the lake. It caters to a lot of outdoor variety. So here are some cons of Lake Tahoe. It can be really, really crowded, especially in the summer and the winter. It also has seasonal variability. The weather can get really, really bad over Donner Pass. You can get that winter weather. Tahoe also has bears. I've never seen a bear in Park City, but Tahoe has bears. I have a friend who bought an Airbnb in Tahoe. They came out and her husband was like, um, did you lock the doors last night to the car? Like, did you go out to the car and leave the door open? She's like, no. And the bear opened up their car door. And then they were like posting all the stuff on social media and there was like a refrigerator lying in the middle of the road, like bears. There's bears in Tahoe. So Tahoe has a lot of regulatory regulations which can impact property development, renovations and real estate development. Tahoe also has a really high fire risk because it's a very dry climate and you're in a forest surrounding. So there's a high risk of wildfires and that can affect the air quality. So let's talk about Park City. So Park City doesn't have a lake like Lake Tahoe, but it has the Jordanelle, which is going to be the future of Park City because there's 21 new developments going around it. Plus you have the Deer Valley expansion, which is going to be the new base of Deer Valley, which is huge news. And it's going to be very high-end, very luxurious, very bougie. And Park City also is kind of like a culture hub. You can buy something that is a little bit on the outskirts of town, but you're still like 10 minutes to Park City. So if you need your culture, you can go to Main Street. Park City obviously has super convenient access to the airport. When you're going to Tahoe, you're probably flying into Reno or you're driving. And Tahoe is just overall a different vibe. I went to Tahoe when I was 18 to go to a snowboard camp. I remember it feeling very ghetto. Like there were certain parts of the town that were very worn down and kind of like, oh, almost like falling apart. Then they have obviously like beautiful mountain estates there. But just driving through parts of town, you can drive through kind of like a really like worn down part of town and then you'll be in a really nice part of town. And so that's something that I noticed about Lake Tahoe. And in Park City, everywhere's nice. Like you're not driving by like a trailer park into and then into like this gated community. Like everywhere in Park City is really, really nice. People that live in Deer Valley would probably consider like Summit Park the ghetto. And Summit Park has great houses up there. It's more cabin life. It's living high up in the mountains. You get a lot of snow up there. It's the first neighborhood of Park City. Park City also has an awesome community vibe and we have a really fun year round vibrant community. And Park City is also more family friendly. We do have a risk of wildfires. Getting property insurance is getting a lot harder to get here. So I'm assuming that anywhere where there's a high risk of fires or environmental impacts is going to be harder and harder to insure but I've definitely heard of people who won't even build a new property like in Promontory because their insurance deductible is like a hundred grand. Insurance premiums are going up. It's getting harder to get insurance here. That's kind of a con. I think price-wise Park City and Tahoe might be really similar price-wise. I don't think Tahoe has like an exclusivity about it. I think that areas of Park City do. Deer Valley or the new side of Deer Valley which is going to be the Mayflower. I don't really, you know, like when you, when you hear the names Jackson Hole, when you hear 
hear the name Aspen, you think of like, wow, exclusivity, very expensive. And when I think of Tahoe, I don't think of that. I think of fun, I think of mountain. You know, Tahoe has a lot of ski areas to choose from as well. Whereas Park City, you've really got Deer Valley and you've got Park City. Whereas Tahoe, you have, you have Kirkwood, you have North Star, you have Heavenly. So you've got a lot of ski resorts around Tahoe. And you have North Lake Tahoe, you have South Lake Tahoe. And each of those neighborhoods are very, very different. So I think at the end of the day, you have to spend time at each place to figure out if you're really toying with which place you should buy, you gotta go spend time there to really find out and see if you like the cultural vibe and which one you like best. If this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything there is about living, playing, working, moving, buying a ski property or buying a vacation property in Park City, Utah, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell for notifications. I've been running this channel for the last five years. I'm a local Park City resident and real estate agent. I've lived here for 37 years. If you are thinking about moving to Park City or buying a vacation home here, then make sure that you contact me and my information information is always dropped down in the description link down below. I would love to jump on a Zoom call with you and see how I can help you. Make sure you check out this video next.